Hello everyone and welcome to my first YouTube video. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Okay, so I'm sure a lot of you watching this video now have come from my Instagram page, Laura underscore Rose underscore fitness. I am basically a fitness and lifestyle influencer and online coach. On my page, I post sort of like lots of helpful tips and tricks I've used in my fitness journey and obviously stuff I've learned from my qualification. I also post quite a lot about my new Frenchie, Roxy. I'm actually gonna grab her now because she's so cute. So this is Roxy. She is an 11 a week old French bulldog and we got her literally two weeks ago. She does not like being held, so I'm gonna put her down because we don't want her to get angry. Go on then. So if you do want to follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do that now. I have literally been wanting to make a YouTube for ages. I don't really know what stopped me. I think deep down it was sort of like a nerve wracking thing. I was like, does anyone care? Is anyone gonna watch the videos? Um, will I just be weird? But I decided to go ahead and do it. On this page, I really, really want to post sort of like educational videos, but also fun videos, challenges, anything you guys want to see. So I'm really up for that. So if you fancy weekly uploads from me, then please hit the subscribe button and support your gal because she's nervous and out of breath because I'm talking so fast because I'm nervous. Okay. And while you are by the subscribe button, please also give this video a thumbs up. Again, that really supports me. This is my first video, so it would mean the world if you could just do that. Anyway, before we start this video, I really need a coffee and I got a new coffee machine for Christmas, which I am so obsessed with and I literally have about 10 coffees a day. So I'm gonna go grab a coffee and then we will sit down and talk about why your glutes might not be growing. Oh, big yawns. Okay, so from the title of this video, you will know that today I'm gonna to talk to you about why your glutes might not be growing. Glutes are something that everyone seems to want to grow, but there are a few disclaimers I wanna give you. The first one is that, like any muscle group, genetics is gonna play a huge role in the size, shape, and appearance of your glutes. No one glute is going to look the same, and this is why you can just not compare how your glutes um, look to someone else's. There will be some lucky ladies out there who can maintain a perky, round, and peachy bum all year round. In fact, they might not even have to train that much to maintain it, and there'll be other girls out there who will have to train loads and really, really hard just to match those glutes. As I actually really struggle to grow my glutes because I'm naturally quite slender, and I don't really have much shape or curve, so I really had to work hard for that. Um, but it shouldn't be about comparing. Please don't aim to look like someone else. As they say, comparison is the thief of joy. And I just feel like you should be, number one, happy with how you look now. Um, and number two, striving just to beat yourself and no one else. And the second disclaimer I wanted to give is, I know having attractive glutes is seen as a really good thing and that's amazing, but that is not the number one reason why you should be training your glutes. Your glutes are one of the most powerful muscles in your body, a huge muscle. Um, and if they are underdeveloped, this can affect so many things, speed, agility, power, strength, performance. Um, having injuries, things like that. So those are the real reasons to train your glutes. It's great to want to change them. Roxy, can you please get out? Just go over there. Um, your glutes, um, yeah, you should want to change them, obviously, for aesthetics. That's absolutely fine if you want to, but what you need to be training them for is for the more important things. Okay, so number one, why your glutes aren't growing is that you're not eating enough. So the reason I've chosen to do nutrition before any of my gym or training tips is that I think nutrition is something that a lot of people, especially women, um, forget about. They don't realize how important nutrition is for muscle growth and just general functioning of the body. Um, sadly, a lot of women who come to me, especially clients, tend to be under eating massively. They wanna get this tone physique, so they think, right, I'm gonna cut all my calories and that is the way to go. Guess what? This leaves them with no muscle growth and no energy. In order to grow your glutes, you need to be eating enough. So all of us will have um, a maintenance calories. This is how many calories you need to eat a day to maintain your current weight. And we can either eat at this, above this, or below this. So eating below this is called a calorie deficit, and that is gonna make you lose weight because you're burning more energy um, than you're consuming. This is great if, for example, you're overweight and you wanna lose a bit of weight, or if you've um, done a big bulking stage and you've gained all this muscle and now you wanna shred off the fat. 
But if you want to grow your glutes, you need to be eating in a calorie surplus. So this is more food. So this will be um, a little bit more above your maintenance. You can find out your maintenance calories online. On Google, there's just like loads of um, calculators. And all you have to do is put like your age, your height, your weight, your activity level. Uh, level? activity level um, and your gender so now that you've calculated what your maintenance calories are and decided that you need to be in a surplus you need to set down some macronutrient ratios so macronutrients are actually more important when trying to gain muscle than calories i would not really focus on calories at all i would just focus on the amount of fats the amount of protein and the amount of carbs you're eating a day in terms of ratio it is really dependent on the individual but as a rough guide i would say you want to be eating about 1 to 1.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight uh, for fat, I would set these at about 20 to 30% of your um, whole calorie intake, and then I'd fill the rest with carbs. Obviously, you want to be prioritizing protein. Protein is really, really important for muscle growth and repair. Um, you can try and get most of this through dietary protein, but if not, it's definitely okay to supplement. I supplement every day uh, with my protein clear whey. I actually do work with my protein. I have a discount code. I'm going to plug this now. But Laura Rose, which gets you 37% off supplements. I could not recommend these supplements more. I use them every single day. The clear whey especially is absolutely amazing. It's 20 grams of protein per serving and it literally tastes like squash. So yeah, if you want to do any of that, please support me and use my code. Hey guys, so I'm just editing and I realised that I gave a really, really brief explanation of that. Um, and obviously some of you might be new to starting out in the gym. So if you do want me to make a video on how to calculate your macros or how to eat for a certain goal, then please let me know in the comments down below and I'm more than happy to do that for you. So the second reason why your glutes aren't growing is because you're not choosing the right exercises or training systems. I would say that probably 80% of my female clients come to me saying, Laura, I can't grow my glutes. I've been trying to do it for ages. I'm not gaining any muscle, help, what do I do? And the first thing I turn around to them and I say, okay, give me your training history, tell me what your split is in the gym and what exercises you're doing. A lot of them say um, that they're doing bodyweight exercises, hit classes, things they've seen on Instagram, all of these crazy moves. But I'm sorry to break it to you ladies, banded glute exercises and hit classes aren't going to grow your glutes. What's going to grow your glutes is by doing compound exercises that you can progressively overload on with a mixture of glute isolation exercises. Doing banded exercises simply just does not create enough tension for them to grow. Um, it doesn't provide enough stimulus and in order to grow this muscle and to really force it to adapt, you need to be smashing it with some heavy, heavy weights. Um, so progressive overload is something that I'm actually going to get to in my next point But for now, I'm just going to introduce you to some of the exercises you should be doing the number one exercise You need to be doing is the barbell hip thrust Few exercises compared to the barbell hip thrust when it comes to growing your glutes the barbell hip thrust is not just beneficial for power strength and hip mobility But it's really really good for hypertrophy it's actually growing muscle, which is exactly what we want to be doing the hip thrust will fire up and target not just your glutes, um, but your quads and your hammies. This exercise can be quite hard to do. When I first started doing hip thrusts, I just found them so uncomfortable. I was like, how can anyone do this? I would literally see people in the gym doing them and I'd be like, why am I done? Um, but it comes with time and it comes with practice. You just want to make sure that you're not making some easy mistakes, which I also see in the gym. Um, hyperextending at the top or rounding your back at the top of the movement is one of them I see. Please don't do that, that's gonna be really bad. Um, you need to really control your reps. If you can't stay at the top for at least one second, I would probably say to lower the weight. You don't wanna be an ego lifter, good form. It's always more important and don't waste the reps by doing it with bad form because it's not gonna grow your glutes, um, yeah. So the second exercise that I would love you to try out is Romanian deadlifts. So Romanian deadlifts are much better for the glutes and hamstrings than conventional deadlifts. Um, this is mainly because of the straight leg element and the hip hinge. This exercise is probably optimal using a barbell and bumper plates um, like the hip thrust, but you can also perform them with dumbbells, kettlebells, or even bands. So there are loads of other exercises which I really wanna go through. I'm not gonna go through them in as much detail as I did for the hip thrust and the Romanian deadlift because I don't wanna keep you here all day. Squats are amazing for um, growing your glutes, your hamstrings and your quads. They're literally an all-round um, compound exercise. You can make these more glute dominant by um, doing variations of them. So for example, um, wide stance split squats, they're really good for the glutes. Um, you can do goblet squats, eccentric squats, pulse squats, smith machine squats. There really is no limit to squat. Lunges are also amazing. I find reverse lunges are really good. 
Using the cables can be absolutely amazing for glutes. I absolutely love um, cable pull throughs. Again, this really works your posterior chains. So that's all the muscles in the back of your body. This one is amazing. It's quite a hard technique, um, but once you master it, it is amazing. And it's honestly one of the most underrated glute growers ever, growers, builders ever. So the third reason why your glutes aren't growing is kind of similar to number two, but it may be that you're not progressively overloading. If you're looking to change the shape and size of your glutes, then you need to be challenging yourselves every single week in your workout. Progressive overload simply means that you're doing more over time. This can apply to weight and reps, um, doing more sets, even being able to have less rest time or just perfecting your form, basically any way that you're really improving your workout. But the main thing that I wanna focus on today is pushing weight. So skeletal muscle grows bigger and stronger in relation to training stimulus. So basically with progressive overload, we're wanting to be forcing the muscles to be doing more than they're accustomed to. And this is going to create an adaptation, which will be muscle growth. You don't wanna be stuck on the same weight session after session. If you're literally lifting the same weight for the same exercise week after week, you're gonna make no progress. I often find that people are stronger than they think they are, especially females. They seem to underestimate themselves. I'm not sure why, because we are strong and amazing. Uh, but yeah, you can always lift heavier than you think you can. So don't be afraid to push the weights. Big advice I would say um, for progressive overload is to get yourself a notebook. So I have a training notebook, which I um, record my sessions in every time. I take a note of the exercise exercise, the weights, the reps, the sets, my rest time. That way on my next session I can look back at previous sessions and ensure that I'm progressing in some way or another. Please go to Paper Chase or a cute store like that and buy a notebook and just take note of what you're doing in the gym. Increasing the training frequency can also be a good tool too. So I actually train lower body three times a week. Um, two of these tend to be more glute dominant days and one of them is quads. Um, but two to three times a week would probably be enough. Before moving on to the next point, I actually wanna quickly discuss um, a training system, which is really, really useful for growing um, any muscle in your body, but particularly your glutes. I mentioned it before, this is time under tension. So as I said, when you put a muscle under stress, it's forced to adapt and time under tension is the best way to do this. So time under tension is literally what it says on the tin. It's putting your muscle under a lot of tension for as long as possible. So this is often done through tempo of exercises. So um, mainly in the eccentric phase of the movement. So this is where the muscle is lengthening. So for example, in a straight leg deadlift, um, when you're bringing the bar down, if you do this with a slow tempo, maybe of about three seconds, this is really, really gonna create a huge amount of tension on your hammies. So yeah, utilize tempo when you can. So number four as to why your glutes are not growing. So we've already gone over nutrition, we've gone over choosing the right exercises and progressively overloading on those exercises, but what if you just struggle to feel it in your glutes? So this could be for two reasons. Number one, you aren't activating your glutes um, because you have stubborn glutes or you have underactive glutes because of the job you're in, or number two, you're not activating the glutes within the exercise you're actually doing because of form. Both of these are things you can overcome quite easily. So first, let's start with you having underactive glutes because maybe you have a sedentary job, but you sit down a lot, you don't use your glutes a lot, and even though you train throughout the week, you don't really manage to engage them. So the way to overcome this actually is through something called glute activation exercises. So glute activation exercises sound a bit strange, but it's basically exercises that you can do throughout the week or pre-workout before your heavy lifts um, to sort of wake up and fire up the muscles and help them get a little bit stronger. So by you doing glute activation exercises, you are essentially training your nervous system to be more efficient in recruiting the glutes. Um, I find personally this is really, really good. So I perform these um, at the beginning of my glute days before I do my heavy lifts and I find so much more engagement and I find I can really fire up my glutes. So some example of glute activation exercises could be a lying banded glute bridge, um, frog pumps, banded lateral walks, banded squats. Using the resistance bands here are really, really useful. Um, and I find that if I do like three sets of 12 of these, um, I can really fire up the glutes. You want your glutes to literally feel on fire before you've even started the exercise. And then you'll find when you do your first exercise that you'll feel really, really engaged. Glute activation is just a game changer and really changed up the game for me. So please, please, please give those a go. So just before I mentioned that there was also another reason why you're not activating your glutes, this is because of form. Um, I touched upon this earlier when I said that people often rush glute exercises and they don't take time to actually nail the tempo, nail the form. One thing I will say is please don't ego lift. Um, don't pick heavy weight just for the sake of it. Um, if you pick a lower weight and really, really nail your form and focus on squeezing your glutes, 
engaging your glutes, that mind to muscle connection, you are going to make so much more progress than you would if you would literally just go through the movements and chuck your weight up and down. So the fifth and final reason why your glutes are not growing is because you simply lack consistency. I said this at the beginning of the video and I will say it time and time again, in order to see a difference or growth in your glutes or any muscle in your body, you need to put the hard work, determination and time in. Muscles, especially glutes, take such, such a long time to grow and if you give up in the first two to four weeks, you're literally gonna see no difference. Um, making sure that you're prioritizing your sleep, prioritizing your recovery, so having at least two rest days a week um, to ensure that you're recovering from your workouts is gonna get you better results. Giving yourself time is really important, so knowing that it's gonna take at least six months to really see a difference is something that you really need to get into your head. Um, take your progress photos, it's quite hard to see differences in the mirror, um, and you might often think that you haven't made a lot of progress. Hey guys, okay, sorry, my camera actually cut out and I didn't realize, so I kept talking and talking and missed it all, but I pretty much said all the points I wanted to say. The last thing I was just saying was make sure that you take progress pictures, because often you won't realize that you're making progress and then you'll look back at pictures and realize you have. So that's one thing I definitely do. Anyway, this has been my video for why your glutes aren't growing. I hope you found it really, really useful. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below or DM me personally on my Instagram page. Obviously this is my first video, so please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video.